I wanted to study at the University of Southampton because I knew it was one of the best in the country for the course that I wanted to do. Um, and after coming to have a look around, it looked like a really great campus and the professors seemed really, really friendly. I wanted to study aeronautics and astronautics because ever since I was a child I've been obsessed with planes. I just sort of always wanted to understand how planes fly. So yeah, this is a great place to come for that. After leaving the University of Southampton, I plan to be an RAF pilot um, and the university has helped me no end with this. I became part of the University Air Squadron and through that I've learned to fly and I've learned leadership skills that I'll need to be in the RAF. Being a female in engineering is actually not as bad as it sounds. It's been absolutely brilliant. I think if you're a female in engineering, you actually hold all the cards. You have the opportunity to show everyone exactly what you can do. And sometimes people will doubt you, but you just have to show them that they're absolutely wrong. I have loved Southampton University. I've loved the city. It's just a really, really diverse place. You meet people from all sorts of backgrounds and there's something to do for everyone here. I've got friends who do humanities. I've got friends who study all different things, but we're all friends because we like the same kind of like uh, pastimes. So, you yeah, know, it's just brilliant. You have the parks. It's, it's just a lovely place. I love it. <laughs> if I had to give any advice to a prospective student, if you're feeling like you might not be up to the challenge, just give it a go. My first year was horrible. Genuinely thought I was going to fail. I've come out with the first class honours. So just keep at it and just keep studying and it will totally be worth it.